All right, Lyle, well, welcome to the man cave, my base of operation. Here's all the golf discs I have laid out and what I've got yet to do. At least I've got some space on my uh, quilt now. <clears throat> More whammo up there for sale, plus all these boxes here are uh, up for sale, and the boxes in the back are all my collection. Um, anyway, this is where I train as well, and then this is my little photo booth. Uh, the light I have is up here, and you asked me about the light, and you're right. I used to have it about 13 inches to the back, and I pulled it out about as far as it would go. So now I guess it's probably about 18 to 20 inches. So it's well in front of, uh, of where I set the discs. So what I was talking about with you was um, you had reminded me that you were trying to do something from the bottom, and I kept thinking about trying to run something across the top uh, or something across the sides from side to side, maybe some fishing line where I could support the disc. That just none of that was going to work. So I took a couple of pieces of um, shelving and uh, bolted those together. Uh, I got the angle the same way I'd been doing my other photographs, and I basically took uh, and routed out a slot here that was big enough for this wire. I bought this landscape wire from Home Depot, it's pretty heavy duty. It, but it is malleable. Um, it comes in about that shape or of a coil, and then I just took and I pinched this here into a vise, so I had a kind of a support little nipple, and then all I do is stick that baby down in here, and it moves a little bit, but that's fine. Um, it's bendable, so I can bend it uh, backwards or forward, and I can spread it out for uh, deeper discs, etc. Um, so all I then do is, so I've got this a DGA Terminator clone or X-clone and I basically just rest it right up against right up against it um, let's see if I can show you what it looks like from the back I can't really see that but here it here it is uh, if you can see it um, typically what I'll do is I'll bend it with both hands to get it where it uh, works well and then you can see I've got a white and black reflector on both sides. And depending on what my needs are, I'll use one or the other or none whatsoever. And then I just mount my camera right here and uh, take my shots and I'm good to go. I think what's benefited me is that I moved that light out. And so now it actually reflects off of this side back onto the disc. Uh, and it's less harsh like you pointed out. <clears throat> but uh, this wire thing is super easy to make. Uh, it didn't take me long, and then spray painting it was the final trick. By doing that, it uh, blended right into the backdrop, and uh, that's it. So that is the extent of the Mike Hughes photo setup. Not much to it, and if you want me to make you one of those wire doodads, a uh, piece of pie, because I've got a whole bunch of that wire. All right, there you have it. Thanks, Lyle. See you, man.